Hi, now, now the tutorial is the, the how to set up the environment okay, for Laravel okay, by using the uh, Visual Studio Code. Okay. So Laravel is one of the uh, PHP uh, MVC frameworks. Okay. So it allow, allow the user okay, uh, develop the web system through the PHP right from their uh, framework by the con by using the concept uh, MVC okay so how to set up the environment for Visual Studio Code using the Laravel uh, of course uh, you need the Visual Studio Code make sure uh, you will install the Visual Studio Code in your uh, computer or laptop right so the second one the requirement is you need to using the composer okay. composer is there is a open source tools okay. you just download okay. you just download and install into your uh, PC okay. that's all okay. we don't need to using the command prompt provided by the composer okay. after you install you only require the composer application inside your laptop you can assume there is a middleway okay, between the uh, Ravel and the uh, Visual Studio Code. Okay. So after that, okay, after you install the Composer, okay, you go to the uh, Visual Studio Code. Okay. So you get uh, using the new terminal. Okay. So make sure you uh you, you must uh, uh get ready okay the command prompt the basic command prompt uh, for the composer okay so to set up the composer inside the Visual Studio Code okay so you just using the command prompt composer global require okay by using the use the uh, command Okay. Okay. Composer, okay, Robert require Laravel slash installer. Okay. Installer. Okay. So of course, okay. The command, okay. If you are using the composer, make sure you your laptop is connected to the internet. Right? and make sure the connection is uh, good because if you download uh, a lot of the file uh, from the internet right? slash installer right? so you just type from the terminal inside the uh, Visual Studio Code you don't need to open uh, the command prompt provided by the computer right? so after that Okay, you uh, uh, running and install into your PC lah. Okay. Okay. So here we are no need to uh, uh we no need to uh waiting. Okay, but we are just saving the time. Okay. So after you done, right, if you come up with a successful uh, message, right, and how you, right, right, how you know they have uh, successfully, okay, so you can create a new one, okay, you can new new project, right, okay? you can create a new project, okay, so you can create a new project, okay, new project, create a new project, right. New project, right? With inside the new folder, lah. Okay, right? inside the new folder. Make sure there's a new folder, right? Right. So and use the command, composer, Ravel, and the last one there is the uh, name, right? The project name, right? For example, cut, right? For example, cut, right? Okay? So I can create the U sorry composer composer right create project right refer 
Tarabel slash Tarabel. That's a standard command. Only the last one there is a project name. Right. So again, it required uh connect to the internet, make sure the connection is a good because if you download a lot of the file from the internet. A lot of the file from the internet. Okay. So uh, after you waiting for this, okay. Okay. You just prepare the other uh, uh, application. Uh. So after done, right, you will see the application successfully. Okay. So uh, after you done, you will see the folder on your uh, left hand side, right? The folder on your left hand side. Okay. So how to uh, uh, running and, and make sure that is uh, successfully uh, for the Laravel in your project. Right. Be careful for the command prompt. Now the location here there is a cut right under the folder cut 2020p right so you must be running the uh Bravel commands okay inside the folder cd cut not in this folder okay so how to make uh, to test your Laravel uh, environment is done so you uh, Run the command php artisan serve. Enter. Okay. Okay. So run command okay. P php artisan serve. Okay. 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 So how to view? Okay. So you just click. Uh. Okay, you click right you click the uh, link or you go to the folder locker host right you go to locker host right the port is the eight thousand right So the requirement for Laravel is uh, you must make sure you are uh, your SM, uh, your SMTP there's a ready right you don't need to running a PHP but you right if you want to connect to the database you must run the MySQL uh, right? you must run the MySQL right and the rest only the set, uh, set up Okay, set up. Set up. Right? And only the during the setup, right? During the setup. Right? During the setup, right? For composer. During the composer setup. Right? There is a select Where is your PHP la? Right? Where's your PHP? Right? If your SMMPP not in the uh, default directory. Yeah. Right? If your SMP SMPP inside the default directory is no problem. Right? That's all. Right? So after you're done, so you can see there is a Ravel uh, basic website right in your uh, your folder right all the file this uh, generate by default right all the generate by default okay
So the next tutorial, we will learn how to create a file right, in the view, controller and the model.